Jana was a 19-year-old high school senior with dreams of becoming a doctor when ISIS first came to her village. They came to the village and said, you have to convert to Islam or we will kill you. Jana, not her real name, is from the village of Kocho, a community of ethnic Kurds from the Yazidi religious minority, which was surrounded and occupied by ISIS early last August. Soon after, Jana says ISIS ordered the entire village to go to the school, where they stole all the people's jewelry, money and cell phones, and then separated the men from the women. According to a United Nations report, ISIS then gathered all males older than 10 years of age, took them outside the village by pickup trucks, and shot them. A different fate lay in store for the women. They separated the girls and the women who had children and the old women. They took us girls to Musul, to a big three-story house. Jana says there were hundreds of girls in the house, and they got visits from the men of ISIS. They came to the room and looked around at the girls, and if they liked one, they chose her and took her. If the girls cried and didn't want to leave, they beat the girl. The guy who chose me was 70 years old, and he took me to his house. There were four Yazidi girls there already. They hit us, and they didn't give us enough to eat or drink. They told us we were infidels. He put me in a room and put a gun to my head, and I was on the ground, and he said, I will kill you because you won't convert to Islam. That night they came and took an 11-year-old girl away, and when she came back, she told me they raped her. These women have suffered severe psychological trauma. They've been systematically raped, not only by one person, by, but by different men at the same time. Dr. Nazan Baghikhani is an advisor to the Kurdistan regional government and an expert on gender violence. She says ISIS kidnapped more than 2,500 Yazidi women last August after mounting an offensive that triggered a mass exodus of hundreds of thousands of Yazidis and other Iraqi minorities. Since then, she says the captive women have been bought and sold across Iraq and Syria like cattle. They had two main aims. First, to recruit youngsters by giving them these young girls and women. And secondly, to uh, humiliate and um, expose these women into slavery and systematic rape. That fits an account we heard from an ISIS fighter held in a Kurdish prison in Syria. When someone joins ISIS, they give him a girl, marry him off, and maybe $2,000. Since August, Kurdish authorities succeeded in rescuing only a fraction of the thousands of kidnapped Yazidi women. So far, we managed to rescue about 100 women. Bagikani says all of those rescued say they were raped. If you could say something to the man who took you to his house, what would you want to tell this guy? I don't want to tell him anything. I just want to kill him. Ivan Watson, CNN, Erbil, Iraqi Kurdistan.